Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where today we're going to answer a standardized math test question where we are asked to compare a numerical and a verbal expression. Here's our question. Which of the following statements is true? I'm going to ask you to pause and solve and come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So I'm going to go through each one of our answer choices to be sure that I have the true statement. And that's again what we're looking for, which one is true. So I have a numerical expression and then I have a verbal description separated by this is. So sometimes in math, is is equal to. So we want to know if this numerical statement is equal to this verbal statement. So when we see this numerical statement, the first thing we want to do, order of operations, we're going to do our parentheses first. 25 times 10 is 250. Then we're going to subtract the 15. 250 subtract 15 is 235. Now I'm going to rewrite our verbal description as a numerical description. So 15 decreased means subtract by the product of 25 times 10. So we want to take this product, so I put it in parentheses, decrease it. 15 decreased by the product. So now 25 times 10 is the first thing I need to do. So I'm going to rewrite this to be 15 subtract 250. And when I do that, I'm going to get a negative number. That is equal to negative 235, which is not the same. So therefore, this is not a true statement. Now let's look at B. Our numerical statement, 3 add the quantity 19 subtract 10, is our numerical statement 3 more than the sum of 19 and 10. So let's evaluate this. First we're going to do our parentheses. 19 subtract 10 is 9, so 3 plus 9 is 12. Now let's write this as numerically. 3 more than the sum in parentheses 19 plus 10. 19 plus 10 is 29, so we have 3 plus 29, which is 32. That is not a true statement. Those are not the same. So therefore, it cannot be B. Let's check C. 7 subtract the quantity or the sum 18 plus 38 is our numerical expression. And that is, here's our verbal, 7 less than the sum of 18 and 38. So we're going to do our parentheses first. 18 plus 38 is 56. 7 subtract 56 is actually negative 49. 7 less than, so we're going to say 7 less than. That means I'm taking 7 away from this sum, the sum 18 and 38. 18 plus 38 is 56, and we're going to take away 7 for the less than, and it's 49. 49 and negative 49 are not the same. Now let's look at D. 24 divided by 6 multiplied by 5 is our numerical expression. Our verbal is 5 times the quotient of 24 and 6. 24 divided by 6, our parentheses, is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. Now let's write this numerically. 5 times means 5 multiplied. Quotient means divide. So divide 24 by 6. 24 divided by 6 is 4, and 5 times 4 is 20, and it checks. So these are the same, and we could have seen that because if I look at these two written numerically, multiplication is commutative, meaning the order does not matter. So I have my quotient multiplied by 5 in the first one, and then 5 multiplied by my quotient, they're the same value. So our answer here is D. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon and have a great day.